Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how we can take a video clip and apply a threshold to it so that we have only two colors left on the screen. Everything either shifts towards black or shifts towards white. So first put any clip on your video timeline that you want to apply this effect on, and then move over to the color tab. It's the one with the color wheel, third from the right at the bottom. When we're on this tab, we're going to need to take the clip input and separate it into two corrector nodes. So we have the first corrector node up there by default, which feeds into media out, but we need to right click and do add node and create a new corrector node. So this new corrector node is also going to receive the video import. So I'm going to drag and connect it there with a link like so. So next on one of these corrector nodes, we need to qualify it with a luminance qualifier. So in the bottom left, I'm going to make sure that we're on qualifier inside of HSL mode. I'm going to turn off hue and saturation because we only want to qualify it with luminance. And I'm going to drag one side of the luminance qualifier over until I have a proper selection. So when you left click on the edge of this qualifier at the end and drag it inwards, you should notice that on the corrector node, part of the original video clip will be selected and part of it will not be. So you're going to want to drag this over until you've met your threshold, so to speak, where you want everything to be one color. And then on the second corrector node, we're going to select everything else and make that the other color. In this case, one side is going to be black and the other is going to be white. So we can see that I was able to unselect the sky for the most part, leaving that at a high of 62.7. So I'm going to copy this value and make it the low in the second corrector node. So going down to corrector node 2, I'm going to copy in that 62.7 for the low. And what you'll see is that that is now selecting everything that the first node was not selected. So now with each of these two nodes, we can color shift it towards black or white. So in this case, let's leave the brighter side, the second corrector node, color shifted towards a pure white. And let's take the top node, which has the darker colors, and shift that towards black. So with corrector node 1 selected, we can click on the color curves tab. And in order to make that part pure black, we simply need to take the color curves with all of them linked together and drag them all the way down until we get a pure black. So by taking that right end node and bringing that to zero, it allows no color to go through in the final node. And what you'll see in that first corrector node is that everything that goes through is now a pure black. With the second corrector node, the way I was liking to make it pure white is to ramp up the contrast. So with the second node selected, go over to the color wheels tab which looks like a circle with a dot inside of it. So on the color wheels tab, you'll see contrast as an option towards the bottom. We're going to take that from one and ramp it all the way up to two. So now we have two corrector nodes, one that has pure black and the second corrector node, which is almost pure white for everything else. Now we need to combine these two nodes with the layer mixer in order to make it the final output. So I'm going to right click here and add a node and we're going to choose layer mixer. So in order to generate our final output, we need to connect these two corrector nodes. We need to correct the we need to connect these two corrector nodes in. So I'm going to make one the top input and one the bottom input. And this layer mixer is going to connect that to the final output, which is going to give you a result looking like this. Now we just need to do a little more work to get rid of the yellow spots, and then we're pretty much done here. So a really easy way we can take all of the remaining color and just make it pure white is to go over to the RGB mixer. And there's going to be a checkbox here for monochrome. So just check that and every color should turn into a shade of white, which in this case is essentially pure white. So at the end of these steps, what you get is all of the colors in your original shot have now moved to either black or white, depending on where they set inside of your threshold. And that gives you this really cool black and white threshold effect. So that's going to be it for this video. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future video content.